Oh, hello there. Are you ready to lighten your hair without having the damaging effects of using a normal bleach? If so, let's get started. Hey guys, this is Jen of All Trees and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So how'd you like that intro, huh? It's kinda, kinda funny. Um, so anyways, <laughs> thought I would try something a little different, you know. Um, okay, so what I'm doing today, as you see in the title, I am doing a bleach bath or lightening blue hair. Um, I do have other bleach bath videos. It's generally the same process. I just wanted to show you because I am lightening a different color. Um, last time I did a purple and then bleached it and then now I'm doing the blue. So um, I wanted to show you guys the differences and how it, the results might be a little bit different from going from a different color using the bleach bath and seeing how well it works myself because I've never done it with the blue. So I did just film a video on how to lighten your hair without using bleach. So if you are interested in not using any bleach at all, then I did just make a video on that and that will be linked in the info cards as well as maybe at the end of the video you can click on there as well. Um, so if you're interested in that, that is how I went from having darker blue hair to what I have now. So let's get started. I'm going to go over the process and how you, how you do a bleach bath and how it's different from using regular bleach. The very first step in a bleach bath, at least my first step, um, my little secret, secret, not really so secret anymore, but something that I use and it is amazing. Let me tell you right now, the very, very first thing you want to do before you put any bleach on your hair is coconut oil. So what you do is you get a couple of spoonfuls, it is in solid form, and then you melt it in the microwave until you have a liquid, okay? And you put this liquid of the coconut oil all over your hair, you coat your whole head and let it set for about an hour or so. Um, this will, number one, protect your hair. Um, it causes less damage um, than just, you know, just putting it straight the bleach straight on your head with the, the bleach bath portion. Um, so it protects your hair. I, I, it can also speed up the process of bleaching so you don't have to leave it on your hair as long, which also aids in less damage. Um, it also does aid in, at the end of it, your hair will be so soft and so healthy looking that you will not even know that you bleached your hair aside from the color because, I mean, personally, this is, it's really, really amazing, I promise you. So I'm going to go ahead and put the coconut oil on my hair and let that sit and then I will be back. And I am back, so now I have the coconut oil on my head. It has been sitting for about an hour. Now it is time to put the bleach bath on to my hair. So in order to get the mixture correctly, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that now. So the first thing I'm going to be using today is my bleach powder. I do have a large tub of it. Um, it is the Clairol Professional VW2. It's the same one I used in my last video. And since my hair is already to a pretty lightened state, it's, it doesn't have a lot of lift that I need to take out of it. I'm just gonna use a regular 20 volume developer and I'll go over it. Again, if you're watching this video for the first time, you know nothing about any kind of bleach. Um, the lighter the volume, the less lightening effect you're gonna have. So if you need more lightening, you can use a 30 developer to get it more pull of the color. There is a 40 developer, but it can be damaging to your hair, so I don't recommend it unless you're going from like black to blonde and you really need, you really, really need it to lift a lot. And even then, I would still mix the 40 with a little bit of 20 just to kind of lessen the effects of the 40. Um, but let me show you. Of the, all the stuff that you're gonna need, you do need your brush and a bowl to mix and a pair of gloves because it will burn if you get it on your hands. And also, once I start the process, I do have my crappy old t-shirt to change into because as you can see, I use it a lot for bleaching. Um, but yeah, so you don't want to damage any or ruin any of your good clothes or anything. So 
in the tub it kind of has this plastic bag on it. Um, there is a scoop. So I'm going to do a couple scoops of the, the lightning powder. Let's do two scoops. Uh, yeah, I don't have to be completely full. You can always make more. That's the good thing about having this because I have ran out before when I used the little packages and that's not fun. So I think this is all I need. Here is the powder. And then we're gonna mix that with the developer and let me show you the consistency, what it needs to look like. And this is a bleach bath, okay? I'm just showing you, you do prepare a bleach bath. You start out the same as you do regular bleaching. You have your bleach powder or lightener, and then you have the developer. So I'm doing this portion first. So this is the consistency of the mixture. It's kind of thick and it is very strong smell. So do it in a well ventilated area. Okay, to make it a bleach bath and not just regular bleach, which also will make it less damaging, you do need um, shampoo. I'm going to put that into the mixture and you can use as much as you want. Of course, the more shampoo, the less bleach. Um, so, you know, mixture to ratio kind of thing. So um, this is what you put in your hair. And again, it's kind of a thicker kind of consistency. This is what you want. So as Blue Hair Jen told you, uh, you have the mixture, it is ready to go at this point, and I'm going to put it directly on top of the coconut oil. The first thing I need to do is put on some gloves. And now that that is done, I can Go ahead and put the bleach mixture on my hair and the towel is really not necessary. I don't even know why I had it because the oil can kind of drip down and make a mess sometimes. So I'm going to start just like you would any other when you're coloring your hair or I do it like you're flat ironing your hair, section by section. So I'm just going to show you all. Let's go ahead and uh, speed up the process.
right guys, so as you can see, I have all of the product on my head. Um, this will be interesting. I am very curious to know if this is going to work. It does not seem to be lifting a whole lot right now. Maybe I should have done stronger than a 20 volume. Um, we'll see. Um, I have seen videos and I've been told and I've heard just, you know, seeing things that blue is a very hard color to get out, which is why I was hesitant on doing blue in the first place. But I went for it and I'm glad that I had it and it was really beautiful. But um, we will see how difficult this is to get out or whether it turns green because of the bleach. Am I gonna have green hair? Like what's gonna happen? Um, I'm really hoping to get this done in one swoop because I really don't wanna have to use bleach again. So let's go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bag on my head and I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes and then I will see you guys when this is all done. Alright guys, so this is the final result and my fear is realized because I have green hair now. <laughs> um, in hindsight, I uh, feel like I probably should have used maybe a 30 developer instead of the 20. I just really thought that it was faded enough to where I didn't need that much pull but apparently the rumors were right that blue is a hard color to get out. So now I have minty green, lime green kind of hair. On um, the plus side, it got rid of my roots. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it looks like I'm going to be doing this again. Um, I'm going to wait about a week. My hair is still very healthy. It feels good and soft. I use my product that you saw um, that I showed you, the Chi. Um, silk infusion it really I think helped to keep it soft and healthy you see it shiny um, but yeah so it's it's still very healthy and good so that's good I also recommend anytime you use any kind of bleach product some kind of repair this is just a repair packet from ION um, these are like 99 cents at Sally's definitely a good investment whenever you're using bleach on your hair um, but yep yeah, so um, yeah so keep uh, an eye out for my next video will be me doing my sunset hair color. Purple, pink, pinkish, and orange on the bottom. It's going to be beautiful, so keep an eye out for that. But if you thought this was helpful, now you see how the uh, blue can come out or not come out as well as I hoped. Um, it is a difficult color. It may take a few times, but we'll get there. But yeah, so give me that thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. And we are still doing the giveaway. Um, for the giveaway, the word of the day to earn your extra comment is... Let's do green. We'll do green because my hair is green. Um, it's, yeah, it's green. Um, so yeah, so the word of the day is green. Make sure you comment that below and Make sure to check out the giveaway video for more information on that. It is open until May 25th 2018 so good luck to everyone on that and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye